time now is 7 o'clock on August 20th, 2024. I'm going to call to order Wayne Township Board of Trustees meeting. So I want to welcome everybody here tonight. Um, if you have not done so already, I think everybody has. This is assigned the um, note back, notepad back there to be able to show attendance and everything. And then Megan, roll call, please. Absolutely. Ms. Collin? Here. Mr. Jacobs? Here. We have a quorum. Please rise for Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now we're looking at approval of the minutes of the previous meeting for August the 6th. I'll make a motion to approve those. I will second that. Okay. Voice vote to all in favor of approving the minutes. Say aye. 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 Any nays like sign. Motion carried. Next we've got uh, any additions, removals, or disclosures from the posted agenda. I guess I see you added some. Uh, yes, we got resolutions uh, 96, 97, 98. 99, 100, and 101. Wow. Okay. Next, we'll go to uh, citizens' comments. If anybody has any comments or anything you guys have to pose in. Seeing none, we will move on. So we're going into our uh, department head reports. Mr. Camry, you were up first with Road Department report. Good evening, boy. Good evening. Uh, just a couple updates. Uh, chip seal and the slurry seal is all complete. Looks good. Uh, all I have to say is sign the check. <laughs> they did. That's Sorry. good. Um, interviews for the open position on the road department are scheduled for this Friday. I've got them stacked starting at 10 okay. every half hour uh, going to 1230. Right. Um, I got a phone call back today uh should have delivery of the new bushwhacker by the end of next week yes so we'll see how that pans out but <laughs> it should it, it's looking that she was pretty confident so and then uh the only other thing i wanted to say was uh, i wanted formally and publicly uh you know thank nick carlson for uh, his uh help and work hard work uh, this summer, uh, helping us out after Derek left, uh, he hung right in there, wasn't afraid, and did a real good job for us. Good. So, want to just put that on the public record. Good. And that's all I have, unless you, the board has anything you need to pass along to me. You have anything? No. I do not have anything. Very good. We're good. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Next up, fire chief or fire department report. All right. Good evening. Good evening. Um, our annual hose testing has begun. We're required to test our hose every year to a certain pressure um, and make sure that our hose that puts fires out is still good. So okay. we test that every year. Um, we have a fair amount of hose. Um, so it's a project that takes a little while. Um, I want to thank uh, Franklin Township for the use of their large diameter hose roller. Uh, that thing is amazing. Um, so that five inch hose is, is pretty heavy and, and cumbersome. So back in the day, you'd have to roll it up by hand and uh, this thing, you hook it up and it rolls it and drains it at the same time. It's very, very handy. Um, and then uh, also we were able to work with uh, Clear Creek Township on obtaining their hose tester. What they've done in the past is they hook it to the fire engine and you run that pressure up to uh, 300 PSI for um, two minutes and um, or five minutes sorry and uh, it's pretty hard on the engine so they have smaller portable hose testers that do it through an electric pump so it saves our equipment and we're able to use theirs um, that's good uh, well they have a new one so they want us their their older one and we're very appreciative of it um, so uh, and then tonight, I'd like to bring on firefighter paramedic Amanda Delaney. She uh, she's another product of uh, my last level two class, uh, and she works full time at my alma mater of Miami Township in Claremont County. She's full time there, so um, 
Our Lexapro policies, I've, I've sent you all copies of the newest ones. Um, any feedback on that, if you could send that to me, because we'd like to start getting issued. And how that process works, I don't know if I explained that. Um, is every couple of weeks we meet with our advisor from Lexapro, because they're get, helping us get through what they call the tier one. Yeah. Um, and so we, we dish those out between Kyle, Tanner, and I, and go through them, and then um, put them back into the system, and she reviews them and says, well, oh, this, this works, eh, you might want to look at this, so it kind of gives a, uh, uh, her input on what's good, what's bad, what works great. Um, so we're moving along with those. Um, uh, football games have begun, we put them on the schedule, hopefully people will sign up. Uh, also, the air show and over Labor Day at the airfield is coming up. Um, I reached out and met with them, and we'll have a presence there as well. Uh, me being the, the plain nerd that I am, I went ahead and took the lead on that. Um, so I'm pretty excited for that. Um, Sour Crop Festival, moving along with the IAP. Um, I'm, uh, the more now, I, again, have never been to the Sour Crop Festival. I've heard of it. I've eaten lots of sauerkraut. Um, the, the bigger this is becoming, um, so I'm pretty excited to, to work through that. Um, and my last thing is we have a hazmat trailer at Station 92 down on Miami Street. Um, it's got a lot of hazmat stuff in it that we don't use. Um, so I called uh, the team commander for the Greater Cincinnati Hazmat Unit, that's who we would use and who contracts with Warren County, uh, to see if they could use some of that stuff. And they've got, um, there's six overpacked drums and some various things in there that they said they would be happy to take off our hand. We would keep the trailer. The trailer would stay with us, but the contents, the hazmat contents, I would like to donate to them because they would use it long before we would. Um, Does that so stuff expire? Is it, is some of it, though, like there's um, some powder and stuff yeah. to make um, leak stopping stuff that eventually does go bad yeah. but the booms and stuff do not so and truly if we have a significant hazmat incident it's coming back here okay. um, so just wanted to get the board's approval on that we will keep enough stuff for us to get working on an incident so but honestly if, it, if it's going to be a, an incident we're calling them and they're going to bring it right back out to us anyways so is there a certain size of the incident do you have to call for them? Um, no. Okay. Um, it's kind of uh, like I, I, I'm not a hazmat guy. Um, I run it when I'm in over my head. But oh, yeah. I need mean, we need help. I know so, we have immediate uh, calls that we have to make out. The yeah, there's stuff like that if something happens. Yeah, so then it hits a search. So if we have a diesel fuel that's over, I want to say it's 25 gallons at that affordable mark, then we start. Um, but a 25 gallon diesel, diesel spill, we can should be able to mitigate with local resources. Okay. So, sounds good. I appreciate that. And that's all I have. All right. Any more questions? You know? I'm good as well. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Good. Next up, Ms. Lowy, zoning report. Good evening. Um, good evening. Start with the Board of Zoning Appeals. Um, Last Thursday night, we had a variance hearing. Um, there was a split two to two decision, um, which meant no decision, which means the variance was not approved. Um, however, that applicant is planning to come in and build a detached garage, which can actually be closer to the property line than the attached one that was denied. So that's, that's kind of his uh, plan at this point to, to pursue it that direction. Um, and then we have an upcoming hearing on September 19th for the Ohio Greenworks um, conditional use and site plan. He just applied for that kind of at the end of the day on Friday, so that'll be upcoming um, with the BZA. Um, the magazine, of course, that's starting, the ads are starting to come in, and the first batch went out to um, Stacy Castle today. Um, contracts and notices were sent out to community partners late last week. That's about what I have tonight, mostly the magazine, so. Are we um, having any attendance issues in the BBA? No, we have six. Um, 
We generally have four to five most of the nights. So um, we had the fifth person had their mother-in-law fall down the stairs that night. That's why he couldn't come. Um, but we would have had five. Okay, just want to make sure we didn't have any issues going on. No, no, there's still one. Except unfortunate circumstances. Yeah. So. All right. Any more questions? Any other questions? Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm good as well. Thank you, Stacey. Thanks. Next up, administrative report. Gus. Uh, good evening, board. Good evening. Uh, really a lot of my stuff is repetitive, but I want to thank Scott for uh, pushing both of our contractors and getting all subdivisions completed just in the nick of time, which is cool as well. Yeah. Uh, I know that's his, always his goal, and so he was able to make this work. So I'm sure that was greatly appreciated. Uh, Village of Corwin, they submitted a request for an OPWC grant for Burns Forge Drainage, same as last year, uh, which has been modified for last year's application uh, because it did score high enough. So they're doing a couple things to try to get some more points. Uh, again, they're asking for our assistance slash participation in the grant. So our portion would be 5% or $25,000, whichever it is less. Some of the other things that are doing with the project, they're splitting it up. Last year it was not only for the scores, it was High Street and 2nd Street down in Corwin. There was some storm sewer down the other other place. They're taking that part out of the project and they're gonna apply that, apply for a community development block grant for that. So that is probably gonna get approved to the county kind of commission next year. That will happen. Whether or not this uh, BWC project gets funded, we won't know until uh, it's submitted in September or we'll go by uh, <coughs> when the scores come out. Did you have, was that a 25000 ARPA money we had? Uh, I don't know. But whatever we tie that to this year, we probably got to tie it to a general fund and not, uh, and not ARPA. Um, then, um, the road department will be just continuing, and then the road department job posting, they've taken uh, those applications in, Scott's got them scheduled, so we'll work on that. Probably a recommendation for the third. Yes. Um, and I've not followed up and got another inspection on the road yet to uh, see what happens. I did pull the, I think you asked about the ARPA funds, I did pull that sheet. We need to make copies, but don't tell me if I can okay. watch it. Good. We have, a, we do have two outstanding bills that we committed out of the ARPA fund for projects that we have not currently paid. Uh, I'm probably next board meeting going to recommend that we they cease and desist those. Well, I want to honor the payment, but I think taking it out of a different fund, taking it out of a general fund, the same board is perfect if we ever get billed for them. Because of the timing issue? Because of the timing issue to get them out of this year's, to get them off the books, and I am not so sure that we will get the uh, midnight year billed for them. So I want to make sure that we have money that's appropriate. Okay. I'll give us. Scott will work on that. You, not me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be one of the That's right, pass it off. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> that computer's all yours, baby. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all I have for today. Okay. Does, does 73 look like it might get done in time for the, at least, um, be one way? I, as far as I've seen, I, I mean, they're making good progress. I mean, they've had good weather. I mean, they got right in there and, and busted up the uh, the deck and, and got it out. I, I actually look for them. I mean, I haven't stopped there and walked it or anything, but I look for them to start pouring by the end of this week and beginning of next week for sure. So I... I cannot, I, I would not, I can't fathom why they would be behind schedule. I don't, I don't, because they've been working at least six days a week. Yeah. Everything's good since they, since they started. That's good to hear. And they so, have good weather. So, 
Right. Yeah. So, I unless something terribly goes wrong, <laughs> uh, they should they should be uh, right on schedule. So by the end of the month, by the end of this month, they should that that should be reopened and be and seventy three back in one lane. And we would, we will rejoice, won't we? <laughs> one lane of seventy three is gonna be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's what it is. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, any any type of, of road or highway construction is what it is. It takes yeah. time. You you just don't snap your yeah, fingers yeah. and it's done. It's it's never convenient. But do you want to be the one sitting on the bridge when it falls yep. in? Yep. Okay. So everybody just needs to suck it up, Buttercup, <laughs> and deal with it. <laughs> Any, any more questions for? No. Okay. All right. Next up, Mr. Fitzsimmons, fiscal officer report. <laughs> well, I'll be talking a little bit, little, little bit more later. Uh, just a quick update on the procurement cards. Uh, that's uh, I've got them all pretty much set up, and I plan to touch base with everybody uh, this week and give them their new cards and uh, talk one on one about using them. Um, and then uh, just finishing up some of the final paperwork with Meter. And we'll uh, start uh, our investments with them. Other than that, we'll get into everything else. Let's we get into the legislation. The legislation. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? Okay. Sounds good. Um, old business. Down to the website. Talking about that. Um, 165 Miami Street. Anything there? I think we have. Uh, I don't know if you saw the email from Mr. Edwards yesterday, but there was a gentleman that uh, was detailing a car in the back of the lot, and I went down and, <laughs> and I inquired as to what he was doing. Um, and he was, uh, the owner of Benito's was having his car as a mobile detailing unit, um, and he was there doing that, but he had placed a sign out front in front of the gazebo, and just kind of, I'm like, I get what you're doing, I'm not, you know, but this, this is the fire department lot. Hey, next time you're going to do it, just give me a call, let me know you're going to be down here, we had some people call. Um, and then I was, as I was driving away, uh, a brilliant, what I thought, moment of inspiration hit me. I said, you know, if you get tired of the mobile detailing, shortly this building That's may right. be on the market, so keep your eye out. He, he seemed very interested. So. Not the best service during sour right? That's right. <laughs> um, but no, we're, uh, with the hose, uh, hose testing and stuff, we'll get back down there and finish finish up. I think whenever the committee is formed and um, they're ready to start walking through and make some decisions, we're, we're close to that point. So. Oh, good. good. Thank you. Anything else in old business? I have a collet job, um, and I, I beat it down to, <laughs> beat it down 11 cents, so we're at 2109, so. Instead of, yes, two, instead of 2.219. I guess we'll sign this and I marked it. Say it again. We are at uh, $2.109. They, they always put a nine. You know, it's just $2.10. $2.10 and a nine. With a nine, nine tenths. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes. 2.109. <laughs> That's okay. Thank yes. you. And I think my residential to call it was at 2.29. That's what I think. Did we, do you know, did we use everything last year? We call that? Did we call it, yeah. As far as propane. Yes. I, I mean, we pre-bought, we, we always, yeah, yeah, every year we do, sure. but I'm just curious as to whether or not we used all of it or not. Yeah, this is a I don't mean to add to your plate there. This is yeah. up to 3,000, or uh, 3,000 gallons. Yeah, you know, it's a Three hundred thousand gallons. I'm sorry. I, I sound like. Ooh. Heck yeah. <laughs> I sound like um, We're gonna be sand volleyball in the shop. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. Thank you, Justin. We're going to be coming to work in our bathing suits. <laughs> <laughs> that was exactly what I was going to work in. 
All right, so yeah, that makes, not be pretty. Next up, some new business. Do we have any questions or concerns with the bills? Do you have any? No, I don't either. Okay. Next, we will have our legislation. So first in legislation, we're gonna have resolution 2024-92. This is to enter in a depository agreement with US Bank and Ohio and Star Ohio for public funds. So this is your Scott or no? Yeah, it, I mean it is. I mean it's mm -hmm. us. Um, and all it is is we have a, a depository agreement currently just with LCMB. This will you know part of the doing the investments will be using uh, US Bank as a third party holder. Of our money, uh, so meter, as they explain, won't touch our money, but that's kind of the holding place. We, and that's why we had to have a, an additional depository agreement to, okay. our, our con to, to have our contract with U.S. Bank. Okay. All right. I'll make a motion to um, vote on resolution 2024-92. I will second that. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. We'll call vote. Ms. Cullen. Yes. Mr. Jacobs? Yes. All right. This motion is passed this 20th day of August. Resolution. Yep. I think I'm still in the village. <laughs> Next, we got resolution 2024 93. This is a resolution authorizing the submission of Furnace Forge Core to Area Storm Sewer and Drainage Improvement Project, application and multi jurisdictional participation agreement by the Village of Corn and Wayne Township Board of Trustees to the Ohio Public Works Program, OPWC. And this is just a uh, AVP from last year's uh, commitment. And it's just a new commitment that has to, to go in with the application to the resolution. Um, make a motion to vote on resolution 2024 I'll second that. Sorry. Mm -hmm. my delay. Yeah. <laughs> All right, we'll call vote Ms. Cullen. Yes. And Mr. Jacobs. Yes. I mean, the resolution would pass the 20th day of August. So next we get the two, next two resolutions, 2024-94 and 2024-95. They will be pending executive session, so we will go into executive session for those, and then when we come back to executive session, we will vote on those two resolutions at that point. So next we're going to resolution 2024-96. This is a resolution to approve the acceptance and hiring of Amanda M. Delaney to the Wayne Township Wayne Township Fire Department as a part-time firefighter slash paramedic. And then did you want to add anything else, Chief? You're good? I'm good. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve resolution 2024-96. Uh, second. We'll call vote. Mr. Jacobs? Yes. Ms. Coleman? Yes. All right. Resolution passes 20th day of August. Next, we have resolution 2024-97. This is a resolution adopting a fiscal policy for Wayne Township pursuant to Ohio Revised Code section 118.02. So turn it over to Mr. Pitsitz. Yeah, so I, I have emailed that um, policy out. It's, it's a purchase policy, and it's the, pretty much everything that we do currently, it just kind of puts that framework out there for it. So it talks about, you know, uh, conflict of interest and ethical conduct, uh, how we go about purchasing. Um, some of the things that will change is um, currently, um, uh, the current structure is, you know, they want to make a purchase. Uh, there's a lot of just open POs, uh, just to track things a little bit closer. Uh, so anything over $1,000 according to the policy, uh, they'll have to have its own PO uh, from now on. That's again more for you know, tracking, and then anything over, uh, of course, fifty thousand dollars is, you know, is a sealed bid stuff. So it talks about the, you know, the sealed bid process, and um, talks about the then and now order or purchase orders, and, and how those operate. Um, so it's uh, it's in line with uh, you know our oversee again. It just it's nothing that's. Not much different what we do, it's largely just the framework to what we do. Uh, or before we, yeah. So Gus pointed out to me we're going from one one page to ten pages, so but it's you know this is more still. It was one page to twelve, but you got it down to nine. So <laughs> 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 
system that talks about um, once we get that on the run, uh, you know, creating requisitions uh, so we can try to get these things sequenced more um, the way they ought to be, you know, instead, so ask instead of working that. backwards, uh, hopefully this will begin to force us to yeah. follow the, the sequence forward. Uh, so uh, the intention eventually you know, part of this is, you know, we'll, we'll put a requisition in over Forget what the dollar amount is, uh, and then over four or five thousand dollars, I think it says, you have to start getting uh, written uh, quotes as well. Uh, you know, right now we don't. Um, so, uh, anyway, so they'll file for a requisition, we'll cut the PO, they'll make the purchase, and it'll just flow a little bit stuff like that. Now, another change would be is there is nothing in the state law that says who has to sign the PO. So, when so Scott buys something uh, under that's under let's say two thousand dollars, he'll sign the PO. And I'll sign it. He'll sign it. Cause I the only thing that the state law says is that I have to sign it uh, to certify funds, uh, and that will help shed some of this burden. You guys, you're not always signing all of these documents. You can still see them, but you won't be forced to sign it. He can sign it and uh, and then make his purchase. And, The, the little nuance changes, but right. okay. sounds good. Any questions? No, policy looks good. I mean, it's yeah. thorough. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's the push, like I said, just puts more structure to what we do. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve resolution 2024 97. I'll second. I did want to thank Gus and Scott, so I did run it through. Okay. And we yeah. talked about it, you know, try to. Iron things out to make sure things are operationally sensible. Yeah. Yeah, because that was the one thing I kept saying was I don't want to do something that creates a greater headache operationally. And so it's been passed through a couple of times. But so I, I did want to say that. Okay. Mr. Jacob, you Yeah, Jacob. Yes. Yeah. And Ms. Cohen? Yeah. All righty, we'll call votes. Mr. Jacobs? Yes. Ms. Calvin? Yes. Right. This resolution has passed this 28th day of August. <coughs> Next, we have resolution 2024-98. This is resolution adopting a procurement card policy for the Wayne Township pursuant to Ohio Revised Code Section 9.21 and Ohio Auditor of State Bulletin 2018-003. All this really does is that updates our credit card, card, credit card policy and brings it uh, more current to to those documents that I just cited, but also uh, it shows that we moved away from a credit card um, program to a procurement credit card procurement card program, and it also sets in here. I don't know if you noticed um, daily limits on yeah. card usage and, and those types of things as well um, uh, for the procurement cards, and those have been already set. Um, so there is a bit of difference, and, and it also talks about the gas card, which is a procurement card, but it's handled much differently by the auditor of state. Uh, so it does worth briefly discuss that, and then uh, reporting, uh, how we'll report, um, uh, reconcile these a little bit differently going forward. Um, right now, things will probably stay the same until we get into uh, actually working with the procurement card system. Ultimately, they will, uh, will go into the system and approve purchases that they, they did and then we'll be able to, I'll be able to pull that and then the receipts and then you know, have a report. Right now you know I just get the receipts but um, you know they'll they'll put them in the loop uh, as well. 
so a little change there. Um, but mostly this is just updating our current credit card policy, which is, well, really we're saying we're moving away from credit card yeah. and towards procurement. Did we, I know you say at the beginning here that instead of the traditional credit card program, do we have to like, formally say that we're removing the policy, the credit card policy that was previously in place or anything? Just to make sure we retire that policy? Well, I mean, we could still, at some point, still have a credit card, I guess. Um, but but we're not going to be issuing any, are we? Uh, well, no, uh, don't be should be shut off for sure. Yeah. I guess we could do a resolution with, with um, I mean, we do have to shut off the credit cards. Well, yeah. yeah. I'm saying that, that, this that this policy, just formally saying this policy, that it, it retires the only credit sure. card policy. Sure. Do another resolution, we just get this yeah. <laughs> right, policy no. a little bit. Okay, do you want to maybe we'll pass it like this or pass it to any resolution? So, what's the middleware at? Table. Is that what you're wanting, right? Correct. Well, yeah, the actual policy. Why don't you pass it and then let us get, let, it, let it, everything get into motion yeah. and then come back and then we don't we'll just take it out and right. then just remove the credit yeah. card. Okay. Okay, it's going, to, it's going to take a little while to get used to it, get used to it, and get it up and moving. All right. Yeah. So I'm going to make a motion to, to uh, pass resolution 2024-98. I'll second. Right. Roll call vote, Mr. Jacobs. Yes. Ms. Colvin. Yes. All right. This resolution is passed this 20th day of August. All right, next is resolution 2024-99. This is a resolution authorizing the payment of employee share of the Ohio Public Employees Retirement System, which offers uh, contributions for certain employees impacted by the township's previous non-payment towards certain OPRS accounts. So back to Mr. Simmons. <laughs> so we got back from the uh, prosecutor's office that it would be okay, you know, so this is your guys' decision. Yeah, so you know, we, Opers, it wasn't our decision, uh, from 2023 and back, uh, we had to pay both employee and employer shares, uh, plus penalty. But they said for 2024, it was up to us how we handled this. So I spoke with the prosecutor's office. They agreed that we, you guys would have the authority to pay the employee share if you so chose, uh, instead of the employee, uh, since, you know, kind of our goof and uh, instead of the employee paying that uh, piece of it. But the last two pages has the, the breakdown of, of, uh, of the, well, who's getting them and the employee shares. And we didn't get that, did you know, can you pass that over? Yeah. So one, the one page prior represents a, the, the part-timers and then the other page represents uh, the paid on call status. That's okay. See, it's per month then, right? Right. Okay. So the first one is uh, is employee's responsibility, and the second one is the same. Oh, yeah. 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 But that's a full amount, right? Yeah. For each month? Yep. Yeah. Okay. So there's a total of that to be caught back up. Right.
the actual dollar amount for the, for the resolution. Is it? Yeah. Bobby, you know, that works. Yep, that's it. It confirms. Great. Right. Seems to me there's a lot of work well, he just wanted to see if we'd actually I know. the right numbers. I see how it is. See, come up with the right numbers. That's what the fiscal officers do, you know? Is this reconciled? That's right. It is reconciled. That's correct. Thank you. It's all about checks and balance. All right. I'll make a motion to approve resolution 2024-99. I will second that. Come on, then. All right. Roll call vote. Mr. Jacobs? Yes. Ms. Coleman? Okay, this resolution is passed this 20th day of August. So let me ask a follow-up question though, mm -hmm. because it's not in there. Um, what happened with the um, Social Security? Are you still kind of like that? Or, sorry, well, I'm waiting for the you. state. Uh, is that the, I talked to our auditor and that went to Ohio lawyers, the state attorneys. So I haven't heard back on that okay. uh, piece of it. Whether we're going to be required to claw all that money back or, or what, the, what the position is. So. It would be a, and is that for all prior years too, then? Or, I mean, can you claw back money from years ago? We don't know. <laughs> that, that, that might be the challenge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because we got one employee that goes back to uh, <coughs> Actually, I've, uh, I've sent uh, that the auditor, the particular auditor, all of the updated uh, documents I've gotten from FERS and had the her back from it, um, which was a little surprised. Okay. Uh, I'm sure she'll be getting back with me. Okay. We good for next one? Yep. All right. Next, we got resolution 2024 100. This is a resolution authorizing the township fiscal officer to issue a then and now certificate for payment of an expenditure to SC Construction and Materials LLC and declaring an emergency. So uh, it just was uh, when we were doing the PO on this, uh, just overlooked uh, getting the um, striping done for Ellen Road in that particular PO when it was written. Um, and again, declaring emergencies because we we're cutting the check and sending it to them right away. Yeah. Um, so it takes effect. It gives me that immediate authorization to send the checks. Uh, so that's really all this. There was no cost overrun. Huh. It was there. It just didn't get into the, the PO. And I just didn't catch it. Until so the striping part of it was the one line item was missed. That was all. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It was uh, the striping. It was the center lines and edge, edge linings. Okay. Uh, that's, uh, so the, that's what all that. And they completed all that too, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, it's, all, it's all complete. It, you know, it, originally Elvin was in, then yeah. it was out, and then, right. it, then we put it back in, and through all of that, it, it just, it, we just didn't get okay. everything. So, But yeah, it's done. So the next year, uh, we'll restrike. We what we strike this year, they put a latex on this year. So next year, when we strike it, it'll be done with a uh, poly okay. paint, and we'll do guard road as well. Okay. So then everything will be caught back up again. Interesting. Okay. All right. I'll make a motion to approve resolution 2024-100. I was going, is that a record, guys? Yes. <laughs> Matter of fact, I had to look up to see. We ended up with uh, 87 or 8 for last year. I, I, don't I, I think I remember, I remember 88. <clears throat> eight, have an 88 resolution. Yes, we're all in August. Yeah, I know. We're only in August. <laughs> 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 Not when we're stopped. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'll just go off. I know. <laughs> the, uh, Roll call vote, so Mr. Jacobs? Yes. Ms. Colvin? Yes. This resolution is adopted this 20th day of August. All right, next we have resolution 2024-101. This is a resolution granting spending authority to department heads and the township administrator pursuant to a higher revised code, section 507.11. Yeah, yeah. Back to you. Um, 
Again, we talked about it. Uh, you, know, you guys believe that the $2,000 was a, a good limit for the department heads and $4,000 for the township administrator. And um, this just sets it or codifies that um, discussion. Of, um, and again, this is probably something we should pass every year at their uh, organizational meeting. Okay. Uh, in January. But. Yeah, I think it should be reviewed every year to see what you guys are doing and see what you might need. Well, you know, with you know, with the prices of things, you know, going up. I mean, you know, what we used to be. I mean, used to, you know, we could buy a set of tires for, you know, for a pickup truck for six hundred bucks. You know, and so it was no big deal. Well, now, I mean, my goodness, I mean, with with the way things are going, I, I don't know how long two thousand is going to last. Maybe they'll start coming down. Sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, it's good. To, it's good to bring up every year to see what's happening. Yeah. That, yeah. 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 It's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I'll make a motion to uh, vote on resolution twenty twenty four dash one one. I'll second that. All right. Uh, Ms. Coleman. Yes. Mr. Jacobs. Yes. This resolution is adopted the twentieth day of August. So for new business, sure. anybody has anything else for new business? We good? Anybody? Yes. <laughs> Next we have correspondence. Is that only? Yeah. <laughs> That's thick. Any correspondence? No, I do not. Okay. Do you uh, have any Scott? Correspondence? No, I, I, no, I don't. I, the only one I had was uh, uh, stuff that I gave to the chief. And apparently it was cop stuff, not fire stuff. So he got rid of it. <laughs> I filed it appropriate. <laughs> All right, we got the uh, elected officials' comments. Do right, this is just okay. um, Just want to say I'm glad everybody's dealing fairly well with our new road changes that have occurred in the past week or two, and uh, it seems like some people, a lot of people have a sense of humor, but we're getting through it, so we'll make it. I want to say good luck to the fall sports teams um, out there. I know everybody's working hard. I see them out there practicing all the time and playing, getting ready for the season and stuff. So good luck. And especially all of the youth players as well. You know, good luck to them um, this fall season. So very good. Hopefully, everyone does a good job. Um, with that, now we go. We have a work session. No work session right now. So I guess we will go into executive session. So this is to consider the appointment, employment, dismissal, discipline, promotion, demotion, or compensation of a public employee or official, or the investigation of charge complaints against a public official. Or Employee, official, licensee, or regulated individual, unless an employee, employee official, licensee, or regulated individual requests a public hearing, except as otherwise provided by the law, no public body shall hold an executive session for a discipline of elected official or conduct related to the performance of elected officials' official duties or elected official removal from office. If a public body holds an executive session pursuant to Division G1 of this section, the motion and vote to hold the executive session shall state which one of the more approved purposes listed in Division G1 of this section and our purposes for which the exact session is to be held, but need not include the name of any person to be considered at the meeting. So we will, uh, we will close. Yeah, I need to make a motion to go, thank you. I need to make a motion to go in executive session. I'll second that. We'll call vote, Mr. Jacobs? Yes. Ms. Coleman? Yes. And the time now is 7.44. And again, there will be legislation after the executive session. Do you, do you want? We are going to need Gus, and we will need the fire chief as well. So, we might need Scott for a little bit. Think so. Yeah. Yeah. Which Scott? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you need. Okay. Yeah. Hey Scott, we'll take you as well. Okay. Yes. Okay. Scott so, one. Not a chief office. Yes. Okay. Scott one's got. Let's just break everything down. <laughs> we need Gus, Scott Cameron, Fire Chief, and Assistant Fire Chief. If we could, please. Can we stay all again. And then we shall return. And also, closing, make a motion to close the I will second that. Okay. okay. Closing the meeting. We'll close the meeting and open it back yes. up. Oh, okay. Yep. I mean, it's, uh, I guess the voice spoke really. Pause. 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 So the time now is 927. We're going to turn back to the regular session of the Board of Trustees. Uh, right now I have resolution 
for the two things. We came out of the executive session, so we do have two uh, resolutions to pass tonight. We have resolution 2024-94. This is a resolution granting a one-time pay increase for an employee. So, yes. So this is for uh, Ms. Lowing, now has completed five years and fulfilled zoning inspector and administrative assistant since beginning hire on August 5th of 2029. And I want to make a motion to approve resolution 2024-94. I will second. A roll call vote for Mr. Jacobs? Yes. Ms. Colvin? Yes. Okay, this resolution is passed this 20th day of August. There you go. Okay, next we have resolution 2024-95. This is a resolution to approve the bonus pay of Nicholas A. Carlson of the Wayne Township Road Department as a seasonal worker. Um, which the Wayne Township Board Associates agrees to award Nick Carlson a performance bonus of a dollar per hour for each hour he's worked during the summer employment. And we definitely appreciate all the work that he's given us up, especially since we were down an employee too. And Scott's mentioned this. He's picked up all the tasks and has done a great job for us. So we want to make sure we uh, acknowledge that and say thank you again from all of us. So I'll make a motion to approve resolution 2024-95. I have a second. We'll call vote. Ms. Colvin? Yes. Mr. Jacobs? Yes. This resolution is passed the 20th of August. That'll be it for all our meetings. So I'll make a motion to close the Wayne Township Board of Trustees meeting. I 